going to YouTube, this is Ruzi Inferno. So, back from YCS San Diego, this is a little bit late, but I've been really busy. I've also been prepping for Costa Rica, which I am going to go to. I'm so excited about that. Uh, I'm going to go for a week, <clears throat> basically like six days, and going to enjoy myself, party it up, see the sights, and then go to Costa Rica. YCS is just a bonus. Alright, so anyway, um, let's recap YCS San Diego. Uh, I went X2 at YCS San Diego um, day one, and then constructed, I just got crushed somehow, I don't even know what happened, um, but anyway, um, but a top, I really want to talk about Sealed, um, Sealed is, to me, when I first heard of it, I was like, this sounds stupid, um, people just sack their way through it, um, whoever has the best cards are going to win, and they're just going to sack their way through it, and that's all that's going to happen. Then I was talking to some people, and they were like, you know, I mean, it's going to be fun. It's more of a balanced playing field. Um, there's more skill involved. I'm like, I, I understand that there's more skill involved because of the cards that you have to use. Um, and people were like, you know, if you expect to get sacked once or twice, then yeah, it's possible. They're going to Harpies rage Rageki you and then attack for good. Like, okay, that's going to happen once or twice maybe. But it shouldn't happen three times if you even get a decent, half-decent deck. And I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? Sure, why not? I'll try it. I'll try it. No big deal. So I sign up, get my DM on my DMOC mat and whatever, okay? And the decks come. And I look at my deck, and I'm like, you know, this isn't a half-bad deck. It has some stall. It has, like, key components of everything. Um, the two band cards I got were Witch of the Black Forest and Harpy's Feather Duster. But... As a deck maker, like I make decks all the time, and I try different things. This was really fun for me because I could. I, they give you fifty cards. I got five extra deck cards, so forty five other cards, and I was just like, minimum of thirty cards you have to use. So I looked at my cards. I was like, I only want to use thirty cards. If that, I'll use a little more. So I kept looking. I looked. I looked. I looked. I was like, what cards don't I want? So these are the fifteen cards that I did not use. I'm not going to show you my deck because I just don't know where it is. Oh, I've like scrapped it or something. Um, my bad. 15 cards I didn't use, and I'll tell you the reasoning. This is, see, this is my reasoning for making my deck, is I want to make it as slim as possible, as skillful as possible, and as good as it could be. So I didn't run my one copy of Reckless Greed for obvious reasons, even though I had Mask of Darkness. I didn't want to run Horn of the Unicorn. I know that this is a good card because of the fact that um, because of the fact that it's a 700 attack boost, which is a lot in Battle Pack sealed, but what happens is it has to return to the top of the deck when it sends to the graveyard. That's horrible. But you don't want to keep drawing this over and over again and not draw a monster and lose. Alright, so I cut that out. This not really that useful for me. Change the battle positions of all face of monsters your opponent controls. Level leader, I only run one um, tribute. It was Caius. I didn't run Cybernetic Magician. It wasn't that good. Buster Blader, two tribs, not so good. Uh, Gilosaurus, I didn't want to use it because I only had Granosaurus in my extra deck anyway for level threes. And yeah, I didn't want to use it. Chainsaw Insect, I had two, so I ran one just in case, and I si I didn't use the other one. Treeborn Frog, um, I was thinking of using it, but I was like, there's no utility for this card. I only have a Caius, um, so no utility for this card, so I didn't use it. Vampire Lord was my, the harder choice for me. I was wondering if I should use it or not, but for one trip, 2,000 attack isn't that much. Plus, I don't want to go call monsters and then they send Democh and then premature it or something. And I want to call spells and traps. You know, it's just hard to, because there's probably some spells and traps that they don't want anyway. So I didn't think Vampire Lord was so effective uh, for one trip. Um, Thedon Chaos was another pick that I would thought about, but you know, it's just like, no, nah, I can't. And zero, it's such a liability at zero. If you don't, if you get hit by it later, it's like not having a monster on the field. Um, White Night Dragon, two trips. Anything with two trips for me was hard to justify unless I ran Treeborn Frog, um, what up? Treeborn Frog, Soul Exchange, Econ, which I didn't get any of those. I, I got Treeborn, but. Um, not just to run White Knight Dragon. Infected Mail, I didn't really see a point in it. I mean, it's alright, but yeah, it's not the best. Um, this has some cool combos you could do, but um, I decided not to use it at the last minute. 
only because it's not as there's not as much utility in it. And wind up dog. Uh, wind up dog. I have wind up warrior, and it's basically the same effect. The only thing is wind up warrior can has eighteen hundred defense, and this has nine hundred defense. So I ran wind up warrior instead. Now, my deck was not am amazing. It was very strong, as in it was consistent. I made it very consistent. Uh, I had a mask of darkness to get back my dark uh, dust tornado. I had um. A uh, little combo with Miracle's Wake and Witch of the Black Forest. I hit Witch of the Black Forest. I search Caius. Then in the end phase, I flip Miracle's Wake, no special um, Witch again, and the normal Caius, and then get Witch's effect again. Um, that was a cool, cool combo. Um, but for me, YCS San Diego, the sealed event, was really skillful. Um, I outplayed opponents not just because. Um, not just because of the cards I had, but because of how I use the cards. Using the cards to your maximum benefit is what the game is supposed to be about. You're not supposed to just be able to drop cards and win the game. You should have to be able to know when to use the cards. Um, and I think that's really important. And that's what sometimes when people say it's a sacky format, that's what I'm talking about. When, tel when Teledata was around... People were like, oh, that was a skill format because you have to know when to drop your power cards. Let's say everyone had three Dark Arm Dragons and whatever, Malicious, D-Draw, etc., etc., whatever, right? Or until that format, whatever. You have to know when to drop your cards, not just to drop your cards, okay? Like the water deck right now, you just drop your cards, okay? You don't really, I mean, granted, yes, you have to know which cards to discard and whatnot, but you can just go... Balls to the walls, and then pot of avarice, and balls to the walls again, right? But until that format, you could not do that. You had to know when to drop your dark rum, etc., etc. And goat format, everyone's running similar decks. You can just drop, use your scapegoats. I mean, well, was three, scapegoat was at three. You couldn't just use your DD warrior lady whenever, okay? You couldn't use your tribe infecting just whenever. You don't want to normal summon your breaker just to pop a scapegoat. You know, you have to know when to use each card efficiently. And I feel like Battle sealed format really helps with that. Um, you just have to know when to go for game, when not to go for game, when to hold your resources, when to use resources, and I feel like that's the epitomizes what this game is supposed to be about. Um, not it's not about how much you are willing to spend on the game. It's supposed to be about um, how efficiently you use your cards, and I feel like um, that's what Konami is trying to incorporate and to tell us. You know, um, we know that the game is expensive but it look if you're skilled enough to play at the sealed level um then you should you know then you're a good player um what i mean by that i mean that's what i mean by that um and witness the top 32 if you look at the top 32 names there are a lot of big big names okay and i mean people that i know like in southern california like okay they're not big big names but like Oren. Um, made it, um, uh, Angel Sensio won the whole thing, he's from SoCal, um, uh, with comic, with Core, um, I have Beto from NorCal, we have, like, uh, we have Bo Tang, Jeff Jones, um, like, I, I'm, like, Fraser Smith, I'm, you know, there's a lot of names that I'm not thinking of right now, but there's at least, I'd say about half, if not more, of the top 32 were skilled players, okay? That I know of. So in that sense, that's amazing because even at other YCSs, when it's not sealed, people who aren't very good with their decks but just have really busted cards can make it to the top 32 and you see them misplay all day in the top, right? And, um, you know, that honestly is not supposed to be the point of the game. It's supposed to be how well you use your cards. So I think San Diego was a very good format, uh, was a very good event. I like sealed more than I ever thought I would. Um, my best plays in San Diego were probably bluffing, reading people's cards. I like read his dust, uh, read his torrential tribute because he flinched at it, and then I waited for my dust tornado to hit it before I went off for game. And I also in the same game, I baited him into not. I re I bluffed him into not attacking my luster dragon because he thought I had lance and he only had a utopia. So if he attacked and ran into Lance, he would have lost because he had no monsters. I stalled him out for like three turns, and then Dust Tornado was torrential and went for a game. 
Um, so just because I kept talking about Forbidden Lands. So those elements of the game that I love, I brought and incorporated into the game, and it helped me top, and I mean, it helped me day two, okay? Which, um, I went with wind ups, but that's not the reason I won. It's just, I mean, lost. It's just because, you know, stuff happens in a five-round tournament. But, um, yeah, day one was actually really fun, um, more than I ever expected. And so I really encourage you guys to try it out. Um, even, the, like, we expected, uh, I expected over 2K people, but it was only about one point something. Uh, even, I mean, that's still a good turnout. But I feel like some people were turned off by the fact that they thought they were going to get sacked, only get sacked um, if they didn't get a good deck. But it turns out that that's not the case. I didn't have a really powerful deck. I had a decent deck. And as long as the person who's piloting it can you know, play the deck really well and know the ins and outs of their own deck, um, they should be fine. Granted, you will get sacked once or twice. Yeah, the guy in round two I lost to because he had a, like a Monarch deck. He had... One Caius, one Mobius, one Dark Dust Spirit, two Tribal Frogs, one Soul Exchange, one Econ, Gores. I was like, well, yes, you're going to win, most likely, because you have a really busted deck, okay? But 90% of the time, I feel like people didn't have that kind of busted hand. I went into every, I mean, deck, I went to every game thinking, I'm going to win this game, okay? I can win this game, be of no matter what, because of how I built my deck, uh, the consistency of how I built my deck, and my skill level, okay? So those three things are under your control. How you build your deck, so consistency, I guess two things. How you build your deck, well, consistency, uh, how many cards, etc., and how you use your cards. So skill-wise, how you use your cards, and what you, you don't have to know when and what to do, all right? So I think YCS San Diego was a success in the sealed format. It convinced me that I enjoy sealed, um... Uh, did, could it go a little smoother? Sure, but I mean, it was our first time, and I really didn't think that it was that big a deal that we had to wait like an hour um, after, because they said 20 minutes to make your deck list. It was really an hour, but I mean, they had a lot of stuff to do. They had to figure out some stuff out. It was the first time they did sealed, so I really could care less. There were YCSs that were way worse than that, and it was a regular YCS, not sealed at all, so I have no qualms about the wait. Uh, that was just one time, too. Uh, other other than that, um, that's all I said. That's all I have to say. Why well, San Diego? I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, sealed format. If you haven't tried it, go ahead and try it. It's actually a lot of fun, and the battle packs draft is actually pretty exciting. Um, and I got a lance, so that was fun. All right, thanks guys. Three in the Inferno signing out.